inside this box is not one, not two, but eight top of the line 16 core Ryzen 7000 gaming CPUs. And I know what you're thinking. This makes no sense. Oh, it just broke it. Even if Supermicro was crazy enough to put consumer chips in a server, they don't support multi-chip configurations. Ah, but they don't need to. Every one of these rear blades contains everything you need for an entire PC. Networking, PCIe expansion, storage, power, CPU, and RAM, which there's no RAM. There's no CPU. This is a season for demo. We don't prepare a CPU for that. What the, but that, sir, this is LTT. I can't make a video without any CPUs. But we don't have a CPU. They don't have a CPU. Sir, I could pee to the AMD booth from here. Tell you what, get me power, get me networking, and I swear to you, I will not leave this exhibition hall until I find a CPU, and RAM for that matter, and power this on. The people need to see this beast in action. And I swear to you that I will not begin my quest until I finish this segue to our sponsor. Us. Wait, what? Oh right, LTX 2023. Come hang out with us on July 29th and 30th in Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> it's a city. We have over 65 creator guests, tons of activities, swag, and more. Get your ticket today at the link below. Realistically, we probably don't even have to go to AMD for this. Anyone who's got an overclocking demo is gonna know they're probably gonna kill some CPUs. Uh, we need gonna RAM. Have spares. We need RAM. G-Skill. <laughs> Let's go! Where the hell is G-Skill? Oh, it's right there. What? Oh yeah, OC World Cup, they're definitely gonna have CPUs. They're gonna have trays of CPUs. I really hope Wei is there, I wanna see him. Yeah, Frank, Frank's good too. Frank is here. Hi Frank. And we'll find Wei soon. Don't worry Frank, do your thing. See you later. Uh, I can't find my Wei. Okay, I'm leaving, goodbye. <laughs> well, I thought I was gonna find him right away. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh my god. Hey! You are un insufferable. Yo. If he's eating, we might have to wait. I don't know if I can wait any longer. Oh my god, really? Now you're doing it. Ah, look, it's way! Hey. Okay. We have a problem. Okay, what's the problem? And I know that I probably should have warned you, okay. but I didn't want to. Okay. He, he uh, said not to. We found a computer yes. that uh, is kind of cool. This is an AM5 computer, but it has no CPU and no RAM, and we thought maybe you could help us. Sure. Can you find a way to help us? Oh my god. I'll get you the RAM. Yeah. Wait, what? what? Oh, I need well, a CPU we too. We need CPUs too. Okay. You, ha you have an OC World Cup over there. You must have CPUs. Uh, we only have Intel CPUs. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Uh, I didn't think that this could be a There problem. is no way. One of these computers. None of them have AMD? There is AMD ones, but... I have a screwdriver. Oh, I gotta ask. You gotta what? ask? What? You have to ask? Who? <laughs> you can just say that we stole it. All right. Tell you what, let's start with the RAM. But you're not allowed to ask permission. It has to be a surprise when the video goes up. Otherwise, it's no fun. <laughs> if it's a problem, we will make it up to you. You can be our new RAM specialist at the lab. <laughs> Give you a job. How about we put it this way? Uh, if you can't get RAM, we'll go to team group. Uh, oh, team no, group. No, 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 no. Oh my god, how are... How are none of these systems AMD? Oh, here's, here's one. Oh, that makes sense, because you guys want to show high-speed memory. Can we power this one down temporarily? We'll bring it back, I promise. Like today, we'll bring it back today. In an hour. Here, let me help you. Thank you, Wei. Thanks, we'll be Wei. We'll be waiting. Oh, wait, this is the 48 gig sticks. What? Oh, uh, shit. Oh, well, oh, I hope yeah. it's not. Woo! Jesus. Trident Z5 Royal Boys. We can get started on the RAM before he gets back with the CPU. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Hey, thank you. Oh my thermal god. Paste. Oh my god. Bulk thermal paste. I love it. Can we take the heat spreader off? Oh my god. And you're giving me a hard time for asking for so much. I mean, we're already this Can we deep. take the heat spreader off? <laughs> or do you have one that doesn't have a heat spreader? Well, those guys gotta have heat guns at the OC World Cup. Oh, look, look at him! <laughs> and to think we could have given him a heads up. Well, we could have. After all he's gone through, we have to show G-Skill memory. Worst case scenario, we just leave the next node over empty. 
and we put this one in. Oh my God, he's back with a heat gun. He's never appeared on the channel before, but this is our G-Skill rep. He's the best. We make life really easy for him, right? Yeah. He's sweating, poor guy. You like my Hello Kitty transit card? Oh my God, Jake, it's cute. Tell me if I'm like burning you or anything. Uh, it's a little warm. Yeah, go. Yeah, go left. Well, I'm just yeah. trying not to burn your fingers. Oh, you got gloves? No, we don't need those. Oh, we're yeah, going. We need gloves. These are not gonna fit I'll, me. I'll wear the gloves. Yeah. You okay. So the small hands. Okay, yeah, we, we got this. it. Small hands are my superpower. Okay. Watch out, Jake. Watch out. I'm lifting it up. Just don't want to pry the ICs off of the memory module. Success on the one side. Give me some G skill talking points. Fast memory for gamers. So fast that the heat spreaders just fall right off with a heat gun and a. Plastic card. Oh my god, Jake, that's not so good fast. Marketing. Buy the RAM. <laughs> Buy the RAM. This is the worst thing we've ever done. This is how you overclock, right? By the way, the new Royale memory looks amazing. If you're gonna go cringe, I say go full cringe. I love it. Now, obviously, we wouldn't recommend taking the spreaders off of your G skill memory. They do actually serve a function, especially if you're running at high speeds. And also, they look really cool but nothing should prevent them from functioning like this, and now they're low profile enough to fit in our server module. Plus, it's gonna be in a server with a lot of airflow, which desktop computers, not so much. Oh, yeah. wow. There's so much thermal compound. I think, uh, I think we're good, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna do one of my trademark uh, vertical CPU removals. Okay. Da 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 Thank you. Bye, see you soon. I'll cover the evidence. And we're back. All I gotta do is put these little shrouds that I took off earlier back on. Oh my God, these are finicky. Why are these even here? Yeah, what is the point of these? All they do is cover the RAM. This, this is an air shroud that we can cover it, so we can make sure that all the airflow will go through the CPU. Oh, so we don't want cooling on the RAM. Yes. Just, just a little bit. There's just a little bit. Tiny cooling. Oh, yes, tiny cooling. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. All right, I'll figure out how to put it on then. I don't have anything. Yeah, they're looking. It. We could go on another side quest and get a USB to Ethernet dongle. I think the CEO of Framework is kicking around on the show floor. Maybe he has a much. What about that laptop? Is it for a specific demo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So good thank to see you, God. Man. Oh my God, I've never oh wanted God. to see you more in my life. We're at the Super Micro, I'm, I'm filming right now. Hi, this is Sasha, he's like one of our ACS contacts, he's awesome. We're at the Super Micro booth, we're trying to do a video on a server. I want to connect to it via Ethernet, but I don't have Ethernet on my laptop. Oh. I need a laptop that has Ethernet, or like a USB-C to Ethernet. A laptop would be better, because then I can very easily do an ACS shout out. much easier to do, because we have spares for- Yeah, if you have a laptop that has Ethernet though. Of course, of course. Like a big one, like this one right here. See, look, that has Ethernet right there. Well, Jake's on our second side quest. I'm gonna run you guys through what this is exactly and what it's for. At its heart is an AM5 socket supporting up to the Ryzen 7950X3D. And that seems like a really weird choice for our server CPU, even if we factor in that AMD does unofficially support ECC memory. But it's not as weird as it sounds because server products tend to focus on performance per watt. Efficiency is king in the data center but that tends to come at the cost of maximum per thread performance, whereas gaming CPUs are all about boosting as high as possible. So for certain server applications, like game servers, where customers want high single-threaded performance and tend to be price sensitive, something like this is fantastic. Each blade supports up to 128 gigs of DDR5 memory, three NVMe storage devices, one on here, and then two in the front for each one, and up to 25 gigabit networking. And when you consider that you can pack eight of them into just a 3U chassis, it's a really attractive option. Yes! Does it work? It's already on. Yes! <laughs> I'll be back in like half an hour. Thank you. Now just because it's a consumer CPU at its core, doesn't mean that you're likely to use this for your gaming rig. Oh, speaking of gaming it. rigs. <laughs> Very nice. I got the world's most baller ethernet jack. You could fit almost nothing in here in terms of gaming graphics, but what it lacks in gaming prowess, it makes up for in manageability. It has a single IPMI network management port here, 
that actually assigns eight different IPs to all the different nodes and it has a built-in switch. So you can daisy chain this chassis to the next, to the next, to the next, making the deployment super simple. Wow, you know, we've got a cable management product coming really soon that I think would be just great for you guys. Still haven't decided what to call them though. Leave a comment if you have some ideas. Hey, it's this guy. You remember him co-starring in our uh, promotional videos we were doing? There you go. Yeah, you did great. Thank you. Oh, hey, there she goes, boys. Woo! Okay, Jake, I hope you're ready. I gotta like do configuration, so. There's actually an indicator light to show which ones are active. This is the one we put a CPU and RAM in, so it gets a green light, and these ones oh, all get no green light. It's working. I had to set a static IP on this interface, and then it, I restarted it, and now it's found DHCP discover, so. Okay, so theoretically we can manage it now. Oh, well, I mean, I mean you don't maybe. have to manage it over the network. They've got a standard KVM port back here that'll do serial, USB, and VGA. And then they've also got a USB-C port on this thing, so I guess that's cool. But we're gonna log into the, oh, I never mentioned the redundant power supplies. 2,200 watts. Wow, you could probably do the whole thing off just one of these then. Wow, that's not a lot of power. Look, it's got a web interface too. There we go, there's all our IPs. Okay. So I had to set a static IP in Windows for that interface, and then it just finds any interface with the static IP Wait, and runs DHCP on so that. So you've got all eight of them? Yeah, look at that. Okay, let's find the working um, one. Like, can I unplug a blade while it's on? Uh, yes. Okay, 5C. Hopefully okay. I put this in the right way. Ugh. Whoa. It's awake. Now the question is, do we know what the default password is? Admin, admin, what are the odds? I start with that. Well, they don't usually do that anymore. Oh, it is that, okay. Usually super microservers now have a randomly generated one. Which is better, better, but I hate it. CPU, memory, oh yeah, look at that. It's even got, hey! you, you navigate things so fast. What do you mean, what do you see the CPU? Look, this is cool. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, like the power supply warning and okay, like. Okay, no, let me drive, stop touching. 7950X, that's working. That's sick. What about the RAM? Did it manage our weird 48 gig? So now gig can I take the CPU? Oh, wait, it has one stick, and it thinks it's a 16 gig stick. Okay. Well, G Skill, they make great gaming memory. I probably wouldn't rip the spreaders off and put it in a server. It might just need a firmware update. Because realistically, the memory controller is on the CPU. Yeah. And it should be actually fairly board agnostic, but you can still run into issues. Oh, cool. So under the power supply menu in each of the nodes, it shows you all the other nodes, and it also shows the power consumption. This is super cool and all, but I would love to see one that actually has room for a GPU. Land centers or something, like... Internet cafe? Yeah. Like a baller internet cafe? Yeah. 37 degrees on the CPU. Considering how friggin' hot it is, even with the AC running in here, and I that, consider that a win. The RAM? The RAM's only 29 degrees. Yeah, I mean, assuming it's reading that sensor correctly, given it has no idea what's in it. Yeah, it thinks it's a 16 gig stick of RAM. And it only detects one of them, so we might have killed one. Oh, look at this, multi-node. And if I click on one, it opens the IPMI for that one. Oh, that's super cool. And you can pick each one and it shows you all of the different things. Power consumption, fan speed. Well, I consider this a win. Yeah. All right, let's look at some of the more conventional servers. This is interesting. In front of me, I have the infamous Ponte Vecchio, also known as, sorry, Intel GPU Max 1550. There's eight of them in this 8U chassis. And this was meant to be a competitor to Nvidia's A100 series. And then it was very, very, very late. The good news is that it actually is competitive against H100, the successor to the A100, in certain workloads. Uh, like HPC, for example. You might want to use it for simulation. But it's not competitive in AI. But word on the street is that it could be available for as little as around half of the price, making this the budget multi-hundred thousand dollar solution. To be clear, Intel has certainly made some improvements to help it compete with current gen. This is all PCIe Gen 5 connectivity and Rather than using PCIe for GPU to GPU communication, they're using what they call XE Link, which turns the 128 gigabytes of HBM, or high bandwidth memory, on each of these GPU packages into a total of one terabyte of memory that's accessible to all eight GPUs. 
that's pretty cool for HPC workloads. Even with that advantage though, Intel's in a bit of an interesting bind with this product because for very small customers who might be looking to save a buck, they're gonna have to redo a lot of their software to make use of this, making it maybe impractical. And then for large customers, well, they can afford the NVIDIA solution anyway, so they might as well just get the industry leader. So hopefully they find a customer for this, but uh, maybe it doesn't matter. We can just wait for next gen, assuming that ever arrives. This is one hell of a beefy cooler. What are these things? Like, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. 600 watts. Really? Yes. Like exactly right or a little bit over or under? Exactly right. I'm good. At this point, what, if anything, would prevent me from removing the processor itself? Are you asking me? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it doesn't seem like your problem, right? I mean, realistically, as long as the video has like a million and a half, two million views by the time HQ sees it, you're not gonna get in trouble. This is the best thing about trade shows because you get to interact directly with the people who kind of don't give a f Now it's moving a little. I think I may have undone entirely the wrong screws to start. Okay, now I'm a little scared because this is taking more force than I'm accustomed to. What is wrong with you? To well, what, wouldn't you do the same thing? I mean, yeah, but like, what about these little ones? These wait, look wait, hold more. on, maybe there's more. Oh, oh, yeah, just takes a professional. Ah! What the hell? You made uh, me think this was a real one. The real thing is here. Okay, well, what am I holding? You're holding his uh, sample. Yeah, but this board is this just board. for show. Yeah, just for show. Okay, so there would be an actual interface there for this. Yeah. Okay, highly confidential, trade secret, authorized FCC, blah, blah, development only. <laughs> Hopefully I can figure out how to get this back together. Or hopefully someone here can figure out how to get this back together more realistically. Okay. Wow. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you pack one of the most complex chips ever conceived and 600 watts of power delivery onto a board the size of freaking a mid-range GPU. See, part of me was expecting to see memory around this, kind of like we saw with NVIDIA's Gray Super chip, but that wouldn't be the case. It's HBM, so it's right on that gigantic, complicated Ponte Vecchio package under here. Does anyone know how this goes back together? Don't worry about it. Just put it down. Our team. <laughs> yeah, you guys will figure it out? Okay, I'll put this here. I mean, this is all, like, broken anyway, right? Or does these, do these work? No, they're not broken. Well, not yet. Well, after you disassemble, we'll check. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for being so accommodating, you guys. Hey, it's us again. Ever wondered what it's like making one of these videos? Flowplane is a great place for you to get to know more about us. From behind the scenes, team member highlights, travel vlogs, and more, see exclusive content that you can't find anywhere else. Check out our most recent exclusives, like extras from Yvonne's Ultimate Tech Upgrade and full versions of our employee interviews. Even Linus hasn't seen those. So if you want to see more from us, check it out at lmg.gg forward slash LTT Flowplane. See you there. If you guys enjoyed our coverage here at the Super Micro booth, uh, what the hey, you might enjoy, go, you know what, go check out the Super Micro channel where they have some videos hosted by yours truly introducing their H13 family.